Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. If you're new to my channel and you do not know who I am, my name is Gade Philip or Gade for short. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the ting. So, as you can see by the title, we are going from bald headed to a frontal wig. I have always wanted to try this style. From the thumbnail, you can see we're going for a more masculine hairline. I want to show you guys the full experience. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. And let's get straight into this video. I beg you lot check out Hair by Kelly. Her work speaks for itself. Only God knows the patience she had for me because I'm so fidgety and I'm so picky. And this was her first time doing a frontal wig with a more masculine hairline. So make sure you click the link in my description box below to her Instagram. Book her while she's in London as she is now located in Atlanta. She used alcohol to clean my forehead and I actually had enhancement on my hairline. So we had to get rid of all the fibers that was actually in my hair. This is a sock, not a wig cap. You know the socks that you get in a trainer store to prevent you from dutting up the people of them shoe? That is what she's using. She said it's thinner and it gives a better melt. Now, I was kind of shook because I was thinking, ain't this going to rip? But it actually holds tight. She put me underneath the dryer and I noticed that the dryer provides a more even distribution of air and a blow dryer, one side could be dry and then the other side could be still slightly wet. It's better to go under a dryer, y'all. After she put makeup on my hair, she then got us tweezers and a thin scissors just to cut away all of the small little edges that were left on the wig cap. We want a clean melt. We don't want no peely peely wig. She put the wig on me just to get an idea of where she's going to place the hairline. As you can see, the lace from my hair company, Hair Bay UK, is thin as fuck. This is a 13 by 4, 14 inch, kinky yaki straight wig. And it has the 4C yaki kinky realistic hairline. She took the wig off to pluck it. She didn't want to pluck it beforehand because she wanted to make sure she had enough hair to create the border for my masculine hairline. I know you can see the wig cap through this lace. The lace on this frontal wig is thin AF. Once she adds the glue and melts the wig cap and then melts the frontal onto my hairline, it's gonna look like skin. She explains to me why she places the wig so high on my forehead. And it's so that it gives me a more realistic forehead size. She doesn't want me to have a small forehead and a little box on top of my brows. That wouldn't make sense. She uses wax and a hot comb just to keep all of the hair away from the border because we don't want any long flyaways or hairs getting into the border when she's actually shaping it up because that would be so annoying hair by kelly sells her own glue called better melt i'll attach it in the description box below and i'm telling you lot now present day when i tell you taking off that wig took three people i couldn't do it myself that glue you lot need it for them lifting laces that you lot be wearing. She then used more glue on the sides and then used a blow dryer until it went clear. She then added three tapes on the side for extra security because she said that the sides can tend to lift quite easily. Prevention is better than cure because I actually want this wig to stay on for a bit and I want to go out in this wig. I've got a few things to do and I actually want to take content in this wig. If you've seen my previous videos, you would have seen that I did content in the wig as well, but I also went out. The tape came in handy. As the glue was melting in the lace and she hasn't cut the edges of the lace, by the way, she just put the band on so that it could be extra melted. And this was tight, you know, but I have a high pain tolerance so it's to anybody's liking but i want this to melt so whatever tightness that she has to do i'm willing to sit through it she put me underneath a dryer again and then she used some foam you know the foam just to set all my hairs down in place for us to then begin the border as you can see underneath the hairs she used a white pencil just to line up where I'm actually going to have my shape up and then she began using a trimmer to cut 
out my hairline now i know this might look fast but she did this very slowly like she took her time now i know in this clip this might not look even but as we get to the next clip you're gonna see how clean and straight my hairline is look at that look at that masculine hairline and it is still within a realistic shape of my actual hairline guys look at the quality of hair bay uk's kinky yucky straight unit with the 4c baby hairs like this looks like it was grown out of my scalp if you guys remember a couple months ago i actually had hair this looks like my natural hair. If I kept growing my hair, this is how it would have been, you know? She then goes in with some spritz and then puts the band back on. Now, I think all together, I had a band on my hairline for more than an hour, two hours. And I think that just gives the lace that ultimate melt. If you have the band on for half an hour, it's just like, what? What's the point? She then uses a hot comb just to get the strands of hair streamline the hair texture is kinky and i wanted my hair to look like i just got a fresh perm a fresh blowout and look at the results i don't know what straightener she used but this straightener was so hot and it also had a steaming system on it as well please pause to find out what the brand of straightener it is but i think it's one of these instagram girls that sell this straightener or it's a hairdresser i'm not sure this is an up close shot and look how the texture goes from kinky to that permed straight looking blowout kind of texture like i love this hair because i see so many girls talk about how they want a frontal wig that has a more realistic look to it that they don't want the overly shiny straight ass hair but this is the finished result and once again a big shout out to Hair by Kelly for this install you slayed. Head over to my TikTok to see all of the crazy content that I created with this look and head over to my Instagram to see the photos that I also took because ciao I had I was living for this. That was all for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to see me try any other looks, you know I'm about to. Bye. I'm outside in a AMG. Right outside. TT. Two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas brown. Shorty off a fan star Just the one I'm really a supreme shot Way that I've been living, I've been finishing up I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things have started getting pissed off Think we need to have a son and finish up I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to chrome Rather see my heart turn crystal Inside a crib on my own Soon as I feel up, I'm about to pop up on your phone Like, I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, PT Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Who am I? All the niggas around me, riding and die Gotta watch your time, cause it's flying right by Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Outside in it, baby